Hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about how why we should collect the Kubernetes metrics and what are all the Kubernetes metrics that we need to collect and how does it help you in solving the performance bottleneck so so far i mean like we were uh, having all our applications in uh, on prem the uh, the hard metal and then we have moved to uh, the cloud where we do had virtual machines but now every application has been moved to aks the azure kubernetes clusters are through the amazon clusters or to the google clusters the kubernetes cluster so now it's very important for us to understand the or we need to uh, collect the performance of the kubernetes cluster so now in this video we will see why we should collect so before we uh, see what to collect we should understand first why we should collect right so that's the reason in this video i will explain you about the reasons of why we should collect the kubernetes metrics during performance testing and i have seven different reasons and they will be completely different in terms of the regular performance testing. I mean, the, the reasons could be similar, but still the way, the perspective of uh, monitoring them is quite different. So now let's move on to the first one. Um, so the first one here is the resource utilization monitoring. So we have to understand the resource consumption because the metrics that we collect will help us to understand how the application uses the CPU, the memory, the network and the disk resources. And this information, which is the resource utilization information is vital for ensuring that your application is not over consuming the resources because that could lead to higher costs or uh, it could even uh, lead to resource contention so to avoid all those uh, bottlenecks we have to understand the resource consumption and after understanding it we have to optimize the resource allocation because by monitoring the resource usage we can optimize the allocation of resources to different components of your application and that will ensure an efficient use of the available resources so we have to make use of the make efficient use of the available resources so that is why um, in fact that's the reason we have moved from the uh, the regular the legacy setup to the kubernetes right so that's the very first reason so the, again uh, let me just quickly recap so the first reason is to understand the resource utilization monitoring and to optim uh, optimally use the resource allocation so the second part here is let me note down so the second part here is the performance bottleneck identification so to detect the issues early so the metrics that we collect will allow you to identify the performance bottlenecks in your application or in your infrastructure for example uh, you can uh, see high cpu usage because that might indicate that a particular service is under heavy load and it needs optimization and also you can improve the application performance so how can you do or how can you improve it so by identifying and by addressing the bottlenecks you can improve the overall performance and the respons responsiveness of your application so that is the second reason which is the performance bottleneck identification and then moving on to the third part which is the scalability testing so again uh, when it comes to the kubernetes it's very easy to scale your application because you can just uh, spin up a pod in in a fraction of a second that which is not even possible in in, in the on-prem part and it's quite difficult when it comes to the virtual machines but in kubernetes you do have the flexibility or you do have the opportunity to do the scalability but you have to ensure the scalability because the metrics that you that we collect during the performance testing will help you to understand how your application behaves under different loads and this is essential for uh, testing the scalability of your application and also this will ensure that it can handle tra increased traffic without any performance degradation right so that's one part i mean in terms of the scalability testing and the very uh, major advantage of the kubernetes is, is is its auto scaling so kubernetes can automatically scale your application based on metrics like cpu and the memory usage and by collecting these metrics they will ensure that the auto scaling works effectively right so for that we need to do a scalability testing and also we have to check whether the auto scaling works fine in terms of the metrics like cpu and the memory usage so that's the third one and then moving on to the fourth one which is the reliability and the stability so what is i mean like how 
can we uh, or what, what's the way or why should we do the uh, collecting the metrics of reliability and stability so the first thing is the monitoring of the health so the metrics which is the metrics that we collect the cpu or the memory usage or the disk io so these metrics will provide us the insights into the health and the stability of your application and the infrastructure so for example uh, the high error rates might indicate that there is an issue with your application and that has to be addressed before it be it's been moved to the production right so same way we can even prevent the downtime by monitoring the key metrics you can proactively address issues before they lead to downtime or service disruption so that is another uh, reason why we are monitoring or why we should monitor the kubernetes during performance testing and the fifth one which is uh, again more related to the capacity so the capacity planning so you can forecast the resource needs for example the metrics that you collect will help you to forecast the future resource needs based on the current usage patterns because this pattern i mean this is essential this i mean this in the sense i mean the forecasting the forecasting of resource needs is essential for capacity planning and ensure that your infrastructure can support future growth so that is the reason you have to forecast the resource needs and uh, the cost management again because anyways we do have the kubernetes we are reducing the cost from the virtual machines to kubernetes but still by understanding the resource usage you can manage the costs more effectively and avoid over provisioning or under provisioning of resources because even that's more important you should not over provision your resources or you should not under provision your resources both of them are in terms in in, in terms of cost over provisioning will um, hurt your budget or it will break your uh, budget but under provisioning will bring performance bottlenecks so you have to be optimally using the cost in terms of the capacity planning and then moving on to the sixth one which is the compliance and reporting so when it comes to the compliance and reporting uh, the metrics that you collect will help you ensure that your application meets the sla which is the service level agreements by providing data on performance and availability and also in terms of regulatory compliance because that is again comes under the compliance so in some industries monitoring and reporting on application performance is required for regulatory compliance there are like many different industries and it's quite important that we have to uh, monitor and we have to report the application performance right and then the last one which is the continuous improvement so when it comes to continuous improvement yes again it's it's very uh, vital because it's not just one term or it's not just for one quarter that you're keeping your application well keep it up and running but it's it has to be a continuous process it has to be continuously improved so how can it be done or why you should why you should need to do it so it is mainly driven on the data driven decision so the metrics that we provide uh, I mean the metrics that provide the data needed to make the informed decision so so far whatever the metrics that we collect they will provide the enough amount of data or i would say the data that is needed to make the informed decisions about applications improvements and optimizations that is the reason we do need the uh, metrics that we collect during the kubernetes performance testing and then the feedback loop so the continuous monitoring and analysis of metrics will create a feedback loop that helps you to iteratively improve your application and infrastructure so by collecting and analyzing the kubernetes metrics during performance testing you can ensure that your application is efficient scalable reliable and cost effective that's again i would underline that part that's i mean cost effective is, is a critical part here so this proactive approach will help you deliver a better user experience and maintain high standards of performance and availability so that's all about the uh, reason of why we should monitor the kubernetes metrics during performance testing so in our next uh, video we may we can see about what are the what are some common performance bottlenecks in kubernetes but before that i will uh, take you in in this uh, i mean like in this video or in the next video about why are like um, what are all the metrics that we should what are the key metrics that we should collect in terms of the kubernetes performance testing and that will help you to understand because this is again a question that you might be asked in an interview or if you are in a project which has the containers yes so in that scenario you will have to uh, use uh, you have to monitor 
your Kubernetes through the performance uh, mod monitor the, or the performance metrics. So uh, please do watch the entire video. And if you have any questions or any feedbacks, please do comment in the comment section. And this is me, Asan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to Little Slide YouTube channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, join the channel, and uh, drop your comments, drop your like, your feedback in the comment section. So until I meet you in our next video, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and your favorite Little Slide YouTube channel. Take care and bye-bye.